Well, some important games this weekend for both the Colts and the IU football team, and the Pacers' new season will be at an empty home arena. Brad Brown has all of the details and a look ahead. The Colts begin December with five very important games ahead of them. The first of those this Sunday at Houston could begin very quickly to formulate the Colts' postseason prospects. Really comes down to just the details. You know, it comes down to the, the things that we that you know win football games from not turning the football over, uh, the technique and fundamentals. I mean, all those things that we talk about all the way back to training camp, they tend to, to rear their head again in, in, in a huge way here down the stretch uh, for what, you know, ends up costing you or helping you find a way to win. Indy is having by most measures a good season, but their 7-4 and four record is only good enough for the 7th and final playoff spot in the AFC. The teams right behind them aren't going to just fade away. The Ravens already have a win over the Colts, and Indy plays the Raiders in Las Vegas next Sunday. Some big additions this week. DeForest Buckner, Danico Autry, and Jonathan Taylor are back from the COVID-19 reserve list. All were significant absences in the game this past Sunday against Tennessee. It was amazing. Um, you know, the, the Nicholas has been playing some great ball uh, before before the situation he was in. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, coming back out. And, you know, especially, you know, him being a dominant force on the field. You're watching the game. You wish you were out there. I mean, if you're winning, you're like, man, I wish I was out there, you know, getting a win with, with the guys. And then if you're out there losing, you're like, man, I wish I was out there fighting with those guys, trying to scrap and get the win. So, I mean, it, it, it was tough. IU's next Big Ten battle has them going to Wisconsin on Saturday. Hard to figure what to make of the 18th-ranked Badgers. They've had three of six games canceled by COVID-19 outbreaks. Only one home game, that was the opener. IU coach Tom Allen is not worried about anything but his own guys, a formula that has worked really well so far. We don't blink. Um, that's a, a program quality that we have built into this place since I've been here. And it's uh, 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 a mental toughness a physical toughness that it takes. Uh, we have challenged our guys. You know, everybody's got to be 1% better. The injury to quarterback Michael Penix Jr. moves Jack Tuttle into the starting position for the first time. A massive opportunity for the sophomore to make a huge impression. Every week I try and prepare like I'm the starter. And every week we kind of put earmuffs and blinders on to the outside and focus on the internal and our opponent. A reminder that you can watch IU in Wisconsin Saturday on WRTV. Kickoff for Madison set for just after 3.30. Indiana's last win at Wisconsin was back in 2002. The NBA has released the first half of the new season schedule. The Pacers will begin with no fans at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The home opener December 23rd against the Knicks. Five of the first six will be home games. The team says there will be no public ticket sales to start the season, but they are looking forward to welcoming fans back in January. Details on those plans will be announced in the weeks ahead. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.